Hi, I'm Randy Ridings, and this is the Quad Yak. Well, I put some kind of just impromptu paddles on the wheels the other day, uh, but they're good enough to move me around in the water. I want to go try this thing in the water. Uh, it's pretty nice today. It's about 70 degrees, but it's late October. It's going to cool down here pretty soon, and I won't be able to do anything like that. So, um, I'm going to go do that today, but I'm thinking through all the things I need to do. Uh, I have not put any kind of water deflection around here, which I had before, so I won't be able to get up any kind of speed because the, the, there will be too much splashing and it comes in there, at least I think. We've made enough changes that I'm not really sure how this is going to perform. Before I had pontoons, but it was also maybe 20 pounds heavier and I was about 20 pounds heavier. So we've taken 40 pounds out of this thing, so it may balance better. It used to hang down in the back a little bit, which is why the pontoons were so far back. I would put them on the, the forks. There's a there's so I just don't know with this new frame where the balance point is. Um, we've put this seat. I believe it's probably farther down, although it looks up when I sit in it, it. It smushes down quite a bit. It's it's foam. So I think I'm sitting maybe two inches lower than I was before. But I'm also sitting maybe a little farther back. But uh, the way the seat is set up, the, the weight goes to the frame here, where before I was actually pushing back on the frame that way with my weight. So I really just don't know, without building models and testing where you put weight and how it affects the trim, I don't know. Uh, you're just gonna, I'm just going to have to launch it. Uh, one of the other things that I had before was I had foam plugs front and back. I have poured AB foam in the back of this, but we wanted to wait until I got this all built before I did the front, which I haven't done yet. So I'm going to do some impromptu things. If you ever need to impromptu float, uh, a flexible water container makes a great one. I can push it through that hatch, and I can blow it up and, and shut the valve, and it'll just stay up there. I'm probably going to put two of them up there, that one and this waterproof bag. I can put it in there, fold it over and snap it. Um, they wouldn't hold up for long, either one of them I don't think, and under great pressure they wouldn't hold up, but just uh, if I happen to, to swamp it, they will hold this the front end of this boat up enough that I can get to shore. I am going to be myself wearing a life preserver when I go in the water. And I'm going to take a paddle with me in case um, I don't feel comfortable paddling the wheels at all uh, because of water coming in, even slowly, that might, might just be too close to the water line, I don't know. I should still be able to paddle by hand if I'm not actively taking water in and, and be able to balance. So no pontoons today, but uh, compensating in other ways to make sure I don't I don't sink my boat. So the next thing I do do is I'm going to put the GoPro in this new holder. I just put a piece of PVC pipe there. This GoPro is on a on a floating handle that fits into the top of that. So I'm going to do that and turn on time lapse uh, until I get out to Kellogg Lake, um, northeast of Carthage, Missouri, and then I'll go back to filming.
engines is there is quite a, a, a wind. Probably about 15, 20 miles an hour. I'm not sure if you can hear me out there. Uh, the good news is it's coming back this way. So if I can get out and fight across it, I won't have any problems getting back. I can just stop and the wind will blow me back. Like I said, I'm wearing, wearing life jacket today, although I know how to swim. Still, uh, still want to be safe if I'm wrestling with this thing and trying to keep it up and afloat, moving around. I don't want to have to be spending the energy keeping myself afloat. Uh, I got my paddle put together. I am taking out all extraneous weight. I want to get this thing as light as possible. The only things I'm carrying with me are going to be my GoPro, my cell phone, a pump, uh, a bilge pump. have a little bit of water come in. I keep the boat from getting uh, off center by keeping that pumped out. And then uh, I'm taking my paddle with me as well. So I got a place for the paddle to sit here. Uh, actually, I might move it to the other side because the wind's more coming this way. One thing I do know about this is that in wind like this, it'll splash quite a bit. I'll probably go just about straight in the wind, turn around and straight back. That's, that's the best way to do it in the situation. Before I get my quarter on out, configured like it is, uh, I might do one other thing. I haven't lifted these this axle up yet. I really want to try that. So I might do that today as well to test out that system. I'm gonna I just stop my go or my uh, garment from the uh, road part of it. I'm gonna restart it for any uh, water leg I do, a different one on each one. That way I can test uh, top speed and overall speed and that kind of stuff. So, all right, we're about to go in. All right, head it in. And head in uh, very slowly. Make sure I don't uh, ship water over the bow. Wait for my GPS to uh, start up. in the nose so I can hit the water pretty fast. I 
while back. Really didn't take on very much water this time, even with the way it's situated. Alright, the gear way down to the ground. Let's hope I make it. Yeah, climbing out's no problem at all. First test, yeah, it's a success. I went out, I came back, I didn't I didn't sink. But it is, uh, it's pretty breezy today. You can see the waves out there. Uh, before I can do any kind of speed test, I need to build some, uh, some water deflection like I had before. I had some wheel wells on there. I'm not sure if I'm going full wheel well this time or just more like a wall. Uh, I, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. I want to try to build uh, the least that I can this time. Um, but everything worked fine. I'll probably uh, go to uh, different paddles before I do much else. So I'm not even going to bother testing the, the new uh, front axle lift system. I couldn't really tell anything with this kind of uh, wind without being able to really gear up and get going fast. It's not going to do anything. What I'll need to do someday is come back with a low, do a couple laps around, get a good average time, top speed, then lift the axle do it again a couple times the same route essentially watch my heart rate uh, all that kind of stuff so I get a good even uh, test to see which one actually you know if, if lifting that up is doing anything for me at all I hope it does but I don't know uh, since it's windy today and I don't want to get uh, too wet because I don't want to get too cold on the ride back um, yeah it's in the 60s but you get soaked and uh, it gets cold in a hurry. So I'm going to call that a success for the day. And uh, right time lapse it on the way back home.